Hello and welcome to No Spin. I'm Nidhi Razdan. Well, what a day it has been in Parliament. The monsoon session has been completely stonewalled since it began last week with the opposition demanding a discussion on the price rise. The government says it's ready for that discussion, but it wants Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman to reply and she's still recovering from COVID. But there is a complete logjam and today as opposition MPs protested in the well of the house, and brought in placards which the speaker had said that they would not be allowed to display the speaker has gone ahead and suspended four congress mps today for the rest of the monsoon session this is now a triggered of a deepening crisis as far as parliament is concerned with no business actually being done for all these days and very little if any business likely to now take place for the rest of the parliament session joining us now are uh, one of the congress mps who was suspended today jyoti mani joining us on ndtv also mr sudhir mungatiwar senior bjp leader former maharashtra minister also joining us uh, on the program uh, jyoti mani ji i'd like to ask you first your first reactions to your suspension from the house see what is uh, what are our, our two demands a we want this government to withdraw the gst on milk rice curd hospital icus and even pencil so all the essential commodities are taxed common man cannot afford to bear this exorbitant tax see i am coming from a very small village representing a largely a rural constituency i went to mahatma gandhi <coughs> Manarega site. See, people are crying there, especially women who cannot afford to buy milk, who cannot afford to buy gas cylinder. Even they used to uh, use a, after a small TVS 50. Even they cannot afford to fuel that vehicle. So, uh, life in the villages, life in the agriculture family, life of laborers is miserable uh, under Mr. Modi rule. We are asking the government, please withdraw this GST government people can't afford to pay this gst anymore second demand is please discuss the price rise in the floor of the parliament parliament is for a discussion if government is not ready to discuss the issue in the parliament then what is the purpose of the parliament government says let the finance minister miss nirmala sitaraman will come we also want nirmala sitaraman ji should come back to the house soon Hale and healthy, but see the past record of this government. But Jyoti, if, the I could, if I could just briefly, bill, if I could just briefly interrupt and ask you that, for, uh, you know, the speaker's point was uh, about bringing placards into the house, which he said would not be acceptable. It goes against the decorum of the house. Still, all of you brought placards into the house. Was that necessary? Nidhi, I just want you to go back seven years before, say eight years before, when Congress was uh, Congress uh, government was in place. When the opposition BJP never uh, uh, raised any voice in the parliament, never raised placard in the parliament, we actually today protested with all dignity and decorum, unlike the uh, BJP in the past. So, government says um, uh, you cannot use the word corrupt, you cannot use the word Jumla GV, you cannot use the word shame. So, the rules actually, these are these are rules. How can you speak in the parliament without using the word corruption? If government is so clean, so honest, why are they worried about uh, the word corruption? So this is how the government behaves. So what is the necessity to protest for the protest first? If the government is ready to, um, uh, ha ready to have the discussion on price rise, the government is ready to withdraw the um, uh, uh, GST tax levied on the essential commodities, there is no need for the protest. Second, I am back to the my point, when agri then agriculture bill issue was happened, that, that, that time not the agriculture minister was answering the um, uh, house, it was Mr. Rajna Singh ji who answered the house. When Nirmala Sita Ramanji was a defense minister, when the rebel corruption issue, rebel scam was happened, it was not Mr. Nirmala Sita Raman answered the house, it was Mr. Uh, late Arun Jaitley was um, answering the house. 
So this government is simply okay, okay, bringing the excuse. Okay, let me take excuse. this to Mr. Sudhir. Why don't, uh, Sudhir, Mr. Uh, why so, don't so, the, the, let, let me just, just take this to Mr. Sudhir ji. I'll just come back to you. I'll come back to you. Sudhir ji, is, is that not a valid point that it doesn't have to be the finance minister who must reply to the debate? And that, that has been, as Jyoti Mani ji rightly pointed out, other ministers have stepped in. The prime minister can step in also on an important debate. So why not go ahead with the debate and let another minister reply? I'm sure Piyush Goel could do it. ऐसा है कि जनतंत्र में चर्चाएं होनी चाहिए संवाद होना चाहिए संसदीय मुद्दों के आधार पर चलनी चाहिए मुद्दों के आधार पर नहीं सारा देश जब यह देखता है कि हम जो विषय पर चर्चा करना चाहते हैं सरकार भी चाहती है पहली बात वो संसद है मैं अभी सुन रहा था मैडम को मैडम संसद है यही संसद में हमने कानून पारित किया जीएसटी का तो पहली बात तो हमें यह पता होनी चाहिए कि जब वो कह रही थी कि दही पे जीएसटी लगा है दूध पे दही जीएसटी लगा है पेंसिल पे जीएसटी लगा है तो पहला प्रश्न ये उपस्थित होता है कि ये निर्णय अब संसद नहीं करती ये निर्णय कोई फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर नहीं करता हमने जो संसद में कानून पारित किया है अब सारे अधिकार जीएसटी काउंसिल को दिए है और जीएसटी काउंसिल कौन से कमोडिटी पे कितना टैक्स होगा कौन से स्लैब में होगा इसका निर्णय करती है और जीएसटी काउंसिल किसी पार्टी के आधार पे नहीं चलती जीएसटी काउंसिल में टू थर्ड मेजॉरिटी ये स्टेट की होती है वन थर्ड मेजॉरिटी वोटों का अधिकार ये केंद्र को होता है मगर जीएसटी काउंसिल इतनी सुंदरता से बनाई गई है और इसी वजह से आपको भी पता है जीएसटी काउंसिल का कानून राज्यसभा ने एक मत से उसको पारित किया था उसके विरोध में कोई मत नहीं था जीरो अगेंस्ट वोट अब जीएसटी काउंसिल में तो कांग्रेस के भी कुछ मुख्यमंत्री है बाकी भी अपोजिशन के मुख्यमंत्री है और जीएसटी काउंसिल की मेजॉरिटी ये राज्य केंद्र ये टू थर्ड वन थर्ड के बाद थ्री फोर्थ से होती है दूसरी बात जो बार बार दुहाई दी जा रही है कि यह अमृत महोत्सवी वर्ष है और यह बात सही है कि गरीबों को जीने का अधिकार है आज भी देश में यह विषय हमारे सबके लिए चिंतन का मंथन का विषय है कि गरीबों को जीने का अधिकार 75 वर्ष में देने में हम कारगर साबित लेकिन, नहीं हो लेकिन पाए सुधीर जी मेरा सवाल यह है कि ठीक है जीएसटी काउंसिल में मीटिंग हुई है लेकिन जो पार्लियामेंट है दैट इज अ फॉरम फॉर डिबेट एंड डिस्कशन तो सरकार डिस्कशन क्यों नहीं कर रही है प्राइस राइस पे किसी और मंत्री को जवाब देने दीजिए सवाल सिर्फ यही है ऐसा है कांग्रेस के ही नेताओं ने पिछले समय एक विषय पे दूसरे मंत्री जवाब देने खड़े हो गए तब कांग्रेस ने हल्ला वोल किया क्यों नहीं आए मंत्री और आज वो अपनी भूमिका बदल रहे है ऐसा है कि कोई डेकोरम होता है जब इनके मुद्दे खत्म हो गए तो मुद्दों के आधार पर आ रहे अब आप बोर्ड लेके वहां पे लोकसभा अध्यक्ष के साथ बस सगुकी करने का काम कर रहे हैं यही महाराष्ट्र विधानसभा में जब भारतीय जनता पार्टी के कुछ विधायक बिना बोर्ड के अध्यक्ष के यहां चढ़ गए बारह विधायकों को एक सेकंड में सस्पेंड कर दिया और वो भी सस्पेंड एक दिन के लिए नहीं एक वर्ष के लिए कर दिया कांग्रेस की सरकार अब आश्चर्य की बात यह है हाँ महंगाई पर डिस्कशन होनी चाहिए महंगाई कभी भी हो कोई भी सरकार आप कह रहे हैं दैट दे आर चेंजिंग द गोल पोस्ट ज्योति मनी जी डू वांट टू रिस्पॉन्ड टू दैट सुधीर जी इज सेइंग दैट यू ऑब्जेक्टेड इन द पास्ट टू डिफरेंट मिनिस्टर्स रिप्लाइंग टू अ डिबेट Yeah, yeah, I am saying. Sir is saying that um, GST uh, talking about GST council. See, who are all in the majority in the GST council? Well, BJP chief minister, P BJP finance ministers, uh, they were, they are the majority in the GST council. Obviously, BJP finance ministers are uh, actually anti people. They are uh, accepting this government um, anti people policies. But all the Congress, uh, Congress chief ministers, uh, DMK, uh, uh, Congress finance ministers, DMK finance minister, I'm sure all other opposition finance ministers vehemently oppose this uh, GST on essential commodities. So that can, so that argument is not valid here. As you said, I 
uh, we are think we, uh, we believe prime minister should come to parliament he can answer why prime minister is applied of parliament why he is not coming to the parliament why he is not uh, ready to face the opposition question and answer in the parliament earlier actually prime minister said, uh, um, uh, said uh, uh, about the form of uh, prime minister mr manmohan singh he cannot speak but uh, manmohan singh ji uh, came to parliament and uh, faced the questions and uh, addressed those uh, questions of the opposition what stops mr prime minister uh, coming to the parliament that's what we are asking so secondly this is uh, not there is uh, no uh, uh, we are not actually uh, uh, going against any decorum or dignity of the house we conducted our pr uh, protest with all dignity and grace uh, with the decorum it was the government who actually uh, was going against the dignity of this people of this country they are crushing the people while they are supporting the corporate their friends become actually fourth uh, largest uh, richest in the world uh, while people are crushed by this modi government we are uh, our our duty congress party duty is to uh, defend the people i'll fight for the people fight against the anti people policies of this modi government we are But, doing okay, our duty let, let, let me ask let, let me ask sudhir mongethi we will this, commit that crime again and again okay let, let, let me ask sudhir ji this that uh, sudhir ji suspending mps is an extreme step uh, aap you know you have been a legislator yourself uh, does it does it is it good for a democracy to suspend mps from the house it's, it's a bigger question dekho uh, jan, janatantra mein ek bahut extreme prashna, step hai aur ye pehli baar nahi hua hai janatantra mein nahi janatantra mein jab koi janatantra pe haavi hone ki koshish karta hai jab hamare desh ke sansad ki kuch paramparaya hai जैसे हमारी बहन जी कुछ बातें कह रही थी जिसका जवाब अगर आपने मुझे समय दिया तो निश्चित रूप से देश के 138 करोड़ जनता के सामने हमने पहुंचाना चाहिए पहली बात जीएसटी काउंसिल में इनको शायद पता नहीं मेजॉरिटी बीजेपी की नहीं है मेजॉरिटी वहां पे बीजेपी कांग्रेस से नहीं पकड़ी जाती राज्य और केंद्र को थ्री फोर्थ वोटिंग से वो पारित करना होता वन थर्ड संसद को अधिकार है टू थर्ड राज्यों को है और जीएसटी काउंसिल में एक मत से डिसीजन होता है दूसरी जानकारी मैं हमारे बहन जी को देना चाहूंगा कि मैं भी जीएसटी काउंसिल के 35 मीटिंग मैंने भी अटेंड की है एज ए महाराष्ट्र फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर महाराष्ट्र की इकोनॉमी विश्व में 193 नेशन में 36 ये हमारी इकोनॉमी है आप भी जानते हो हमारा 15 परसेंट देश के जीडीपी में कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन महाराष्ट्र का है इंडस्ट्रियल ग्रोथ में ट्वेंटी हमारा कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन है और फाइनेंशियली हमारा बजट देश में केंद्र के बाद सबसे बड़ा माना जाता है तो आपको यह जानकारी में देना चाहूंगा कि यह कांग्रेस के ही मंत्री बार बार कह रहे थे कि 2017 के पहले जिन वस्तुओं पे कांग्रेस शासित राज्यों पे वैट था उसमें जीएसटी लगना चाहिए हम विरोध कर रहे थे लेकिन सुधीर जी अनाज पे नहीं करना ये, ये तो दिस इज द सेम डिबेट दैट कुड हैपन ऑन द फ्लोर ऑफ द हाउस इन पार्लियामेंट मेरा सिर्फ ये सवाल है कि कि पार्लियामेंट्री डेमोक्रेसी में इज इट गुड टू बी सस्पेंडिंग एम्सा सस्पेंशन एक एक्सट्रीम स्टेप होना चाहिए वो इज इट इज इट गुड फॉर आर डेमोक्रेसी पार्लियामेंट्री डेमोक्रेसी ये हमारे लोकसभा का एक कैसे लोकसभा चलनी चाहिए उसका एक किताब होता है लेकिन जब आप लोग ऑपोजिशन में थे आप तो रोज वो आप लोग भी तो हंगामा करते थे तो आप आप समझ आपको याद नहीं अरुण जेटली ने नहीं, क्या नहीं, कहा मुझे था? हर बात याद है। हाउस इज ऑल्सो वे ऑफ हर बात याद है टेस्टिंग ऐसा है कि जिसे हम एडजर्व मोशन कहते हैं उसको स्थगन प्रस्ताव जो कहा जाता है उसके विषय कौन से होते हैं ये इसके पहले भी कई अध्यक्षों ने निर्णय करते हुए स्तगन प्रस्ताव के विषय क्या होने चाहिए देखो स्तगन प्रस्ताव के बारे में ये बड़ी स्पष्टता है इसके पहले भी जब कभी आप कह रहे हैं अगर भारतीय जनता पार्टी के सांसदों ने कभी स्तगन प्रस्ताव एडजन मोशन दिया होगा वो समय में भी अध्यक्षों ने कहा कि आपने दूसरे आयुधों का उपयोग करके इस पर चर्चा करनी चाहिए आप अगर लोकसभा सु, सुधीर जी आप आपके एमपीज़ ने कई विषयों पर एक पूरा विंटर सेशन टू जी स्कैम को लेके चला गया था उस पर एक दिन भी, भी चर्चा नहीं हुई यू नो दैट ऑपोजिशन पार्टीज यूज दिस इट इज अजिटिमेट राइट टू प्रोटेस्ट बट ज्योति मनी जी जस्ट अ लास्ट क्वेश्चन यू नो पीपल ऑल्सो डोंट लाइक सींग पार्लियामेंट बींग डिसरप्टेड टैक्स पेयर मनी इज बींग वेस्टेड एवरी डे अकॉर्डिंग टू द गवर्नमेंट सम फोर लैख रुपीज आर स्पेंड एवरी मिनट ऑन रनिंग पार्लियामेंट पीपल वॉन्ट टू सी अ डिबेट एंड अ डिस्कशन If you have waited this long to discuss price rise, why not wait for Nirmala Sita Raman to get better and come back? She should hopefully be back next week. Then the government says it's ready for the price rise debate. Then wait till then. 
Uh, Nidhi, I already answered that uh, question because it's not uh, necessary this, in this government practice, not necessary the concerned minister has to answer uh, the concerned department. This government in the past have been followed the practice. Nidhi, you ask about the 4 lakhs rupees. This is the black card actually we have went, uh, shown in the parliament. When the Congress government was in the power, we, in the, 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 price rise, the, the price of the LPG cylinder is 410 rupees. Now 1053 rupees. Don't you think the every uh, every penny the uh, common man with all their blood and sweat spending on this gas cylinder and spending on this GST is not worth of a money? So that's what we are fighting. The poor man, a common man, a labor, a agriculture um, agriculturist, an agriculture labor, or a single woman or a widow. So anybody for them, their money is don't do not have any value. What government is talking about? We are fighting for this money. People are spending with their blood and sweat. The, this, the, we are uh, talking about this money. People are unable to pay. This money, this government levied on these people. This government looting from the people. This money do not have any value. Uh, that is what we are, uh, legitimate question we are asking in the floor of the parliament. We are asking the same question outside the parliament also. This money, this every penny, the every paisa is coming from the pain, pain of the people, hard labor of the people. A, a, a poor oh, mother right. want to buy milk. She has to pay more 5% uh, GST. That is the money we should be talking about. The rest of the issues not relevant. We are the Congress party fighting for the people. We are raising a legitimate right. issue of the so people. So your point is that it's an right urgent issue. We'll it requires urgent attention. It doesn't necessarily need the finance minister to step in. Clearly, uh, this is a logjam that is going to continue possibly for the rest of the session. Thank you to both of you for joining us today. Thank you. Shashi Tharoor, a Lok Sabha member of parliament from the Congress party, joining us exclusively on NDTV this evening. Uh, Shashi Tharoor, thanks for joining us. Uh, as many as four of your colleagues suspended from the Lok Sabha today. Your first reaction? Well, it's a, it's a, it's a disgrace, honestly. Uh, we've got a situation where, uh, sadly, the culture of disruption is well and widely established, going back to the BJP's days in opposition. So it's not exactly something that has been invented by the current opposition. Uh, we are seeing a situation where uh, there has been absolutely no desire on the part of the government to get the business of parliament moving by permitting debate on the burning issue of price rise, which all the opposition parties have been demanding from the very first day of the session. Indeed, from the planning meetings before the session, they said this is the priority issue we want to discuss. This is what the nation wants to actually hear about uh, on the floor of parliament. Now, the government says that they have absolutely no problem discussing it, so they claim, uh, but they want to wait for the finance minister to recover from COVID. Now, in one level, that seems a reasonable explanation, but on the other hand, given that the parliament session has been called, there have been many, many precedents where if a minister is unable to attend for a particular reason, another minister is briefed by that ministry and is supposed to substitute. So it could have been possible to have had a serious debate with, after all, in a parliamentary system, there is cabinet responsibility. Another member of the cabinet, properly briefed by the finance ministry, could have responded. The problem with all of this is that there is a genuine perception on the part of the opposition that the government actually doesn't want a debate, doesn't want a discussion, because it has no answers and it's deeply embarrassed by the conditions right. uh, but, in which the country is. But Shashi Tharoor, I just want to go back to firstly what the Speaker of the Lok Sabha had said, which is that he would not allow placards to be brought into the House. I, I think what was said was that if you want uh, to, to uh, you know, demonstrate with placards, that should be done outside the House. Uh, why did your MPs insist on bringing these placards inside? Nidhi, again, you know, I, I understand where you and your viewers are coming from. I myself am not a great fan of using Parliament for demonstrations. But the truth of the matter is that the degradation of the standards of behavior in the House is not new. I remember before I came into politics, the then Speaker Somna Charity calling a gathering of so-called eminent citizens to advise them on what to do about demonstrations, disruptions, placards, and so on. And when that meeting took place, it was the BJP that was in the opposition doing it. So I just want to stress these kinds of standards of behavior have not been established by the four suspended members or by the present opposition. These are things that have happened, uh, that has happened over the last three decades. I remember discussing with Mira Kumar when she was Speaker of the House, and I said, well, the rules will allow you to suspend these people. Why don't you? And she said that would be undemocratic. 
because after all, people have come here to represent their constituents, and if we suspend them, we're denying the people they represent a voice. And so she sat there and, and watched the BJP, which had far larger numbers in opposition than we have in opposition, disrupting the House routinely and with impunity. Now, the reason that uh, you're seeing placards to explain to the viewers is that because the cameras, as it were, are controlled by the authorities and the sound system is tuned only to the official microphone of the speaker uh, with a small S and the speaker with a big S, uh, the only way in which the opposition can let the nation know they're protesting on the public's behalf is by holding up placards. That is the reason why this placard are used. Again, I'm not defending it. I would love a situation where all parties unanimously agreed on restoring a code of conduct where these things don't happen. But when sure, there is but, no but such Shashi agreement, Karur, I think the government see, has not agreed. If you see, the it, fact from, is that, if you see hmm. it from voters, uh, a voter's point of view or just ordinary folks, you know, who are watching this, you know, play out in parliament, uh, you know, the, the government claims that some, I think, four lakh rupees are spent every minute for the running of parliament. You look at taxpayer money being wasted and I have to ask, okay, what if you did wait for Nirmala Sita Raman to come back? You debate other issues in the house till then and then take up the price rises. So, I mean, COVID normally, okay, you're in isolation for a week, 10 days, and then you're back. So, look, wh why not wait? Look, this is a, a political call that has been made by others, not by, my, by me. I'm, even, I'm speaking to you as an ordinary MP. I'm not one of the decision makers or the official leaders uh, in this process. But I will say that my understanding very simply is that it became important in their eyes, uh, in their judgment, to ensure that the burning issues of the country were showcased first, rather than allowing the government to reduce parliament to a discussion of relatively irrelevant or marginal issues like the Antarctic bill and some other routine bills. The government does not seem to be prepared with any major substantive legislation. We don't have the personal data protection bill. We don't have any serious far-reaching pieces of social legislation or of economic policy. There was talk of reviewing the bankruptcy code. That's not before the House. We've got some very, very, and I, I'm sorry to use the word trivial, but relatively trivial issues that the government is trying to shove through the House because that's all they're ready with. Whereas when it comes to the really important issues that the nation expects to see Parliament discussing, I'm sorry to say that there is no attempt by the government to discuss it. So but that's the bottom line in all of this. I, I, I'm not, as I say, I'm not going to sit here saying that uh, disruption is a good thing. My own colleagues know that I'm not a, a fan of disruption, and I personally believe that Parliament is for debate and not for disruption. But I'm trying to explain to you, as somebody who didn't take this decision, trying to explain to you why this decision is understandable in the circumstances in which uh, we've been conducting Parliament in the last few so years. Then give, given we the have a catastrophic breakdown of relations between the government and the opposition. The government is genuinely so arrogant about its brute majority that it seems to be contemptuous uh, of the need to accommodate opposition voices, uh, opposition agenda issues, and it is essentially willing to bulldoze its bills and its, its priorities through the House. Strong uh, that words. really shows me something. Yes, absolutely. I mean, You're saying catastrophic breakdown. Catastrophic breakdown of relations uh, of relations between the government and the opposition. Am I to understand then, Shashi Tharoor, that that's the end of this session? We're not. I mean, no. given that your colleagues have been suspended now till the end of this session, that uh, we're not going to see any business being transacted. I hope it doesn't come down to that. I know there's a lot of uh, of anger in the in the in the in the opposition because obviously these were not the only four people who are protesting or holding placards, and we feel that an attempt has been made to make an example out of four. Uh, Congress people just in order to send a political message. And I have to say that, you know, we have we have much larger concerns at the moment. The price rise is a very serious issue. Agnipath has had the nation aflame, particularly uh, amongst young people who had military aspirations. Uh, there are very, very serious issues that need to be addressed. And I have to say that um, as someone who believes strongly that Parliament is a forum where we have to discuss the vital issues confronting the nation, I would have liked nothing more but a serious discussion on these issues, which the opposition had come prepared to discuss. You must remember that before Parliament started, the opposition had said that these are the issues the nation wants us to raise. Most parliamentary democracies, and to the best of my knowledge, every major parliamentary democracy except ours, allows at least one day a week where the opposition sets the agenda. We have a, a system in which, unfortunately, 
There is no provision other than the government's own good grace and its own willingness to take it on the chin right. that permits the opposition to provide its point of view to the nation. Right. Now, well, you can't have parliament as a one-sided forum to bulldoze government bills through. Well, the, it well, has to be a forum where other points of view are heard. The British Parliament also has Prime Minister's questions every week. So there's, there you are, there, exactly. Exa exactly. Th th that's certainly a good point. Shashi Tharoor, thanks very much for joining us on NDTV today. Thank you. Thanks, Didi.